Stars, just like human beings, have a lifetime. They are subject to the relentless march of time. Now, for stars like our sun, the collapse continues until it produces a new and exotic type of star known as a white dwarf. White dwarfs are strange beasts. The fading remains of stars. Super dense planetary sized cores, usually composed entirely of carbon and oxygen. Stars that were once a million times the size of our planet, crushed to the size of the Earth. Subjecting the carbon to extreme pressures and making white dwarfs, in effect, stellar diamonds. These diamond stars are critically balanced, able to resist the relentless inwards pull of gravity, but only just. And that can make them ticking time bombs. In 2018, Hubble was in orbit. The telescope focused on a galaxy far, far away. Hunting for a distant white dwarf that we knew was coming to the end of its extraordinary life. For millions of years, the white dwarf had remained hidden, locked in orbit around a much bigger star. White dwarf star, or to be more precise, the supernova that it became, has a name. It's called SN 2018GV. And even though it is 70 million light years away, it is so bright that we could make a movie of it. I mean, imagine that. This is a star the size of a planet ending its life with a flash of light that's as bright as five billion suns. Now, although supernova like these only shine for a few days, they cast a profound light out across the universe. We've given a name to the sort of supernova Hubble saw. They're called Type 1A supernovae. common enough to allow us to map the evolution of the universe. Type 1A supernovae really are nature's gift to us. Because they all explode in the same way, that means that they all shine with the same brightness. And that means that if we see one that's dimmer, it must be farther away. And that allows us to measure the distance to the galaxy that contains the supernova. And because they shine so brightly, we can see them tens of billions of light years away. That means that we can measure the distance to galaxies all the way out towards the edge of the observable universe. 